We really don't know the functions because uh, that hasn't been explored in infants at all. We know that the microRNAs in breast milk can affect the expression of genes. And in that sense, it can regulate pathways that are involved in a lot of biological functions. <laughs> if it comes to the small intestine, which we have looked at primarily, it will be, for example, immune function down there, cell differentiation. Uh, cell proliferation, many of these things that we know are different between breastfed and formula fed infants may be explained by these, but again, we don't yet have any functional outcomes for these microRNAs. Again, we don't know that. Uh, we have compared studies looking at ethnicity, which doesn't seem to affect it much. Uh, the length of lactation doesn't seem to affect it that much. Prematurity doesn't seem to affect it that much. Uh, we don't know if diet of the mother could affect it. Nutrient composition of the diet could affect uh, the, the expression of these. I kind of doubt it, but it needs to be investigated. Again, th this is a very, very new field, so we, we don't have a lot of information to build on. And, and again, coming back to certainly no studies on infants yet. Coming back to, I think it can affect the development of the small intestine, and with that comes immune function, defense against infections, a lot of those things that are going on locally in the small intestine. But if there is transfer into the bloodstream, it can move on and potentially affect other organs like the liver, the brain, the kidneys, etc. So it can have profound effects, but again, we can only speculate today because there are no studies in infants, like I said, and very limited studies on um, uh, experimental animal models also, because again, the majority of the microRNA research that has been done has been by the oncologists and cancer specialists and very little attention on uh, microRNAs as a dietary source. <music>